Hello, friends. This time we will read a storybook entitled "The Enchanted Garden: A Magical Tale." Once upon a time, in a quiet village nestled between rolling hills, there lived a curious young girl named Lily. Lily loved spending time outdoors, and her favorite place was an old, overgrown garden at the edge of the village. One sunny afternoon, as Lily was exploring the garden, she discovered a tiny, shimmering door hidden behind the vine. With a touch of curiosity and a sprinkle of magic, the door swung open to reveal a world beyond imagination. Inside, Lily found herself in a magical garden filled with talking animals, colorful flowers that danced. And trees that whispered secrets. The garden was enchanted, and at its heart stood a wise old owl named Oliver. Oliver explained that the magic of the garden was fueled by kindness, laughter, and the pure-heartedness of those who entered. Lily, with her caring nature, was a perfect guardian for this magical realm. As Lily spent her days in the enchanted garden, she made friends with magical creatures like Sparkle the mischievous squirrel and Misty the gentle unicorn. Each day brought new adventures, from flying on the back of a friendly butterfly to having tea parties with wise old turtles. However, the magic began to fade as the village faced difficult times. Lily knew she. Needed to share the enchantment with her fellow villagers to bring joy back to their lives. With the help of her magical friends, Lily organized a grand celebration in the enchanted garden. The villagers, initially hesitant, soon found themselves laughing and playing amidst the magic. As the joy spread, the garden glowed brighter, and the entire village felt the enchantment. The once overgrown garden became a cherished haven for the entire community, a place where laughter echoed and friendships bloomed. From that day forward, Lily and her friends continued to share the magic, reminding everyone that a little kindness could make the world a more enchanting place for all. And so, the enchanted garden lived on. Those who believed in the power of love and wonder, and whenever someone needed a sprinkle of magic, all they had to do was follow the laughter and find their way to the magical garden at the edge of the village. Hello, friends. Today we will read a short story entitled "The Floating Island." On the edge of the never-ending sea. There existed a cluster of floating islands, each with its own unique magic. One island sparkled with the glow of fireflies; another hummed with the melodies of invisible musicians. A curious girl named Lily discovered a tiny boat that could navigate these magical isles. With each visit. Lily encountered whimsical creatures, learned spells from ancient wizards, and danced with the northern lights. The floating islands became a place where the ordinary and the extraordinary danced together, proving that magic could be found in the most unexpected places. Hello, friends. This time I will read a short story entitled "The Fluttering Fairies." In a hidden meadow surrounded by ancient trees, lived a group of mischievous fairies. These fairies had the magical ability to make flowers bloom with a single giggle. One day, as a village prepared for its annual flower festival, the fairies decided to join in the fun. With a sprinkle of fairy dust, the meadow burst into a kaleidoscope of colors. 
The townsfolk were astonished to find their gardens transformed into a magical wonderland. From that day on, the fluttering fairies and the village shared a special bond, creating enchantment with every laugh and twirl. Hello, friends. Today we will read a short story entitled "The Giggling Goblins." Deep within the Gigglewood forest lived mischievous goblins who had a contagious case of the giggles. One day, they stumbled upon a forgotten recipe for laughter cookies. When baked and shared, these cookies made anyone who took a bite burst into fits of laughter. The goblins decided to spread joy throughout the neighboring village by delivering laughter cookies to every doorstep. Soon, the entire village was bubbling with laughter, and the goblins discovered that sometimes, a sprinkle of silliness and a dash of laughter were the most magical ingredients of all. Hello, friends. Today we will read a short story entitled "The Laughing Lighthouse." On a tiny island surrounded by sparkling seas, stood a lighthouse with a unique power. Every time the lighthouse beam swept across the waves, it giggled. The laughter was so contagious that passing ships couldn't help but join in. One day, a storm threatened the island, and the laughing lighthouse beamed its joy through the dark clouds. To everyone's surprise, the storm clouds giggled away, leaving the island bathed in a rainbow of laughter. The villagers learned that even the fiercest challenges could be overcome with a sprinkle of laughter and a dash of courage. Hello, friends. Today we will read a short story entitled "The Littlest Dragon's Dream." In the magical land of Eldoria, where dragons soared through cotton candy clouds, there lived the littlest dragon named Pippin. Pippin had an extraordinary gift: the ability to dream the most fantastical dreams. One day, Pippin's dream spilled into the waking world. Creating a rainbow-colored bridge that connected the dragon realm to the village below. With each dream, Pippin brought laughter and joy, turning everyday moments into enchanting adventures. The village soon realized that the littlest dragon's dreams were a precious gift, connecting their world to the extraordinary realm of imagination. Hi, friends. This time we will read a short story entitled "The Magic Crayons." In a world where crayons held secret powers, there lived a little artist named Maya. Each crayon she touched brought her drawings to life. The red crayon created playful ladybugs. The blue one crafted shimmering oceans. And the green one made a forest filled with talking animals. Maya's magical drawings became a source of wonder for all. Every afternoon, the children gathered to witness the enchantment of Maya's magical crayons, turning their playing world into a canvas of extraordinary adventures. Hello, friends. Today we will read a short story entitled. The magic teapot. In a quiet village, there lived a little girl named Lily who stumbled upon a dusty teapot in her grandmother's attic. To her surprise, the teapot had a magical secret: it could brew dreams. When Lily poured tea from the enchanted pot, whimsical scenes filled her cup. She sipped dreams of flying on the back of a friendly dragon and picnicking with talking animals. Lily's magical teapot turned ordinary tea time into extraordinary adventures, proving that a sprinkle of imagination could make the everyday truly enchanting. Hello, friends. Today we will read a short story entitled "The Moonlit Meadow." In the heart of the enchanted forest, 
A meadow blossomed with glow-in-the-dark flowers that only bloomed under the light of the full moon. A curious young fairy named Luna discovered that each flower held a different magical power. One night, she gathered a bouquet and shared the magical blooms with her forest friend. The flowers granted wishes, turned puddles into mirrors, and even made the trees burst into song. The moonlit meadow became a place where dreams took flight proving that sometimes the most extraordinary magic could be found in the quietest corners of the world. Hello friends, this time I will read a short story entitled The Moonlit Picnic. One special night, the moon decided to join a group of nocturnal animals for a moonlit picnic. As the moonbeams shone brightly, the animals gathered treats from the magical moonlight. The moon shared its glow, turning the ordinary forest into a sparkling wonderland. The animals danced, sang, and feasted under the moon's gentle light. The next morning, the sleepy town awoke to find glittering stardust scattered across their gardens a magical reminder of the extraordinary moonlit picnic they had shared with the enchanting moon. Hi there! This time I will show you a video tutorial on how to edit the KidVid story template. First of all, open the note containing the link you got when purchasing the KidVid story product. Choose which template you want to edit. Copy the template link you chose, then paste it into your browser. After that, select Use Template for New Design. All templates are fully animated. You just need to change the text and images if necessary. To edit an image you need to upload it first. Click on the icon upload then select the image you want. You just have to slide it to the image area of the template. Then the image automatically changes without losing the previous animation. To change the text, double click on the text you want to change. And change the text according to what you want. We move on to slide 2. Do the same as on slide 1. Here you can also change the color of the shape and text according to what you want. when all editing is complete.
Click Share. Select Download. Change the file type to MP4, then click Download. Wait for the sharing process to complete. And that's it. Thank you for watching.